see how to design a Moore and Mealy machine to convert each occurrence of ABA by a sorry ABB by ABA. So a string consisting of uh, input that is nothing but a plus b. So we have input set that is nothing but a and b. We have a states okay, that is nothing but q that is nothing but a q0, q1, q2 and q3. These are the four states available. The next initial state that is nothing but a q0 is nothing but a q0 and final state is nothing but a q3. So now we will design a state transition table for this particular Moore machine. Now we have inputs that is nothing but A, B and outputs associated with each of the state. We will take into consideration at states that is nothing but a Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3. So Q0 stands for A, Q1 stands for ending with B or it is B then Q2 is nothing but AB and Q3 is nothing but ABB. Now the output symbol associated with it is nothing but A, with it is nothing but B, output symbol associated with this state Q2 is will take a last character that is nothing but B and along with this it has a last character B but instead of having a B I want it as a A. So I will put a output symbol here A because we are interested to design a Moore and Milli machine to convert each occurrence of ABB by ABA and now it this last character is a contradictory so I have to convert it to A. So I am taking it as an output symbol. Now we will provide inputs to these, these particular states so a Q0 with a, it is forming a string that is nothing but a a so it is ending with or we'll check for this for this a state is available that is nothing but a q0 for a a state is not available so i'll satisfy along with the previously matched state that is q0 the next q0 is a and i'm providing an input b to it the next i'm getting a particular state that is nothing but for a b i'm getting a state that is q2 the next Q1, a Q1 is already B and I am providing an input A and I am getting BA. For this A, I have a state that is nothing but a Q0 but for BA, I am not having a state so I will satisfy along with the previously matched state that is nothing but a Q0. The next for B, I will provide input B, it is BB but for BB, state is not available but for B, state is available that is nothing but a Q1. Next, for ABA, I have a state for this A okay, but I, I don't have a state for this BA and I also don't have a state for ABA. So I'll take into consideration a previously matched state that is nothing but a Q0. The next AB with input B I'm having a ABB. So for ABB I have a state that is nothing but a Q3. The next for this Q3, I'll provide any particular state, any particular input, definitely it will be having a substring that is nothing but a ABB. So as it is having a substring ABB, I'll take it as a state output state as a Q3. Here also I'll take output state as a Q3. Now this is a state transition table for a Moore machine. Now we have to draw a state transition graph for this Moore machine. So we'll draw a state transition graph for this Moore machine. In a Moore machine, output symbol will be associated with the states. So we'll take this. Okay, so Q0 has output symbol associated that is nothing but A. Then Q1 has output symbol associated that is nothing but a B. Then Q2 has output symbol associated that is nothing but B. 
and for q3 output symbol associated is nothing but a a so these are the three states and q3 is also a final state so i'll make it as a double circle the next i'll show our transitions q0 with a is going to q0 q0 with b is going to q2 then q1 with a is going to q0 then next q1 with b is going to q1 next q2 with input a is going to q0 q2 with input b is going to q3 then q3 with input a is going to q3 and q3 with input b is going to q3 so this is a more machine or a state transition graph for more machine we'll simulate it along with a particular string so if we'll provide input a b b so we'll simulate along with this particular graph q0 with input a it is remaining a q0 with input b it is remaining b and q0 with input b it is moving to a so a particular string is going to be converted okay so means our problem is right our solution is right now we'll draw a state transition graph for a designing a milli machine so in a milli machine we have a particular outputs associated with the transitions it is a it is b then we have a transitions then q0 q1 q2 and q3 states we have and we have output state q0 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 q3 and we have output state along with the b, b that is q2 q1 q3 and q3 we have output symbols associated with q0 as a so i'll put it a output symbol associated with q3 is nothing but a so i'll put it a output symbol associated with q1 is nothing but b so i'll put it here and output symbol associated with q2 is nothing but b so i'll put it here so we should take output symbols associated with these transition output or output states okay here we are taking along with the input states and here we are taking along with the output states so now we'll draw a state transition graph for this milli machine so it is having a states that is nothing but a q0 q1 q2 and q3 so q0 with input a is remaining on a q0 with output state output a q0 with input b generating a output b the next q1 with input a is moving to q0 with a particular output symbol that is nothing but a a then q1 with input b is remaining on a remaining on a state q1 with the output b the next q2 with input a moving to a state q0 with output symbol a then q2 with input b is moving to a q3 with output symbol a then q3 with input a moving to q3 with output symbol a and q3 with input b is moving to a q3 with output symbol a so this is a state transition graph for this milli machine so we'll simulate 
we have a, string, a particular string that is nothing but a ABB. So we'll check whether it is going to be converted along with a ABA. So input is ABB. So I'll check A, B and B is going to change to a A. So I'm generating a correct string means this problem is right. Okay, so that's, this is all regarding to a Moore and Milley machine to convert each occurrence of ABB by a string ABA.